G'day guys. Um, this probably isn't the best camera angle, but we're gonna run with it because I can't find anywhere else. Um, so, first ever video made um, on YouTube before, but the plan is to show how we feed out hay on our small farm in uh, in Vic, Australia. So it's the middle of winter. Um, I'll show you the big rig. Uh, where can we sit this? Right here. In the, between the hay bales. How's she gonna go? Oh. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad, there she is. Pretty muddy, as you can see. Um, so yeah, massive Ferguson. 100 horsepower ish. Um, yeah, we'll get into it. Alrighty, so it takes a couple seconds for me to start off here because I've stuffed up if you um, turn the tractor on and put it in drive without putting your foot in the clutch for a start, it has some safety thing and then you got to put the clutch in twice and it's a bit annoying but anyway, um, that's, that's why you pause for a couple seconds there before you took off. Um, so yeah, now I'm just picking up the bale, a um, bit of a pot oil in the way so it's a bit annoying. It's uh, a bit hard to pick up the bale. Just go back up. Obviously, middle of winter time, so it's extremely muddy. Um, yeah. So I like to put the uh, the bale on the grass and not the mud. So when you go to um, unwrap the bale, you don't get your hands full of mud because yeah, nothing worse than that. Go and unwrap the bale and it's full of mud. So we back it up to put it on the back. Um, good idea to put the back, back bale on before you grab the second one, just a bit of a counterweight. A little bit safer that way. And um, I'm also going to go back. Put that on it. Just the procedure I follow. We just put the first bale on the back. Um, yeah, then we go in to get our second bale. Yeah. And then, after that, we're pretty much good to head down the paddock to the dry cows. Um, so, the cows being dry cows means they haven't calved yet, so we're not milking them. Um, so they're going to calve this spring sometime, the next few weeks. Um, but until then, we're there. we've just got them locked up in the paddock. And, um, yeah, we still rotate them around the farm, but... Um, it's a lot slower rotation, so we feed out hay um, with your milkers. You don't usually feed out hay. Um, well, at least we don't. Um, but yeah. So this is, uh, this is me heading down the lane. It's a bit of a bit of drive to our uh, drive pan down. That bit down. Well, 300 acres, so it takes a little bit to get there. Here we are at the, uh, the dry cow paddock that they're in at the moment. Um, they've only got one more strip to go in this paddock and then the next day we'll move them on to the next paddock up the laneway. And I should probably explain what I'm calling the laneways. The laneways are the roads and going up, so we call them laneways, um, but I guess you call them tracks or roads or whatever you want. So I'm soaked in the gate up here, Let's drive into the paddock. In we go. <laughs> now that, that cow walks around towards where the gate is and I'm like, oh, she's gonna walk out. But she doesn't. Usually they don't walk out when you open the gate, like they're not, you know, 
I'm bringing in eight, so why would they want to walk out of the paddock? They're going to get fed in. So, they're not too bad. Um, yeah. Now we're heading down to the bottom of the paddock. You can see the cows are all following me down. Um, yeah. So we just got to drive up to the fence. There's a little portable fence, so we strip graze them across the paddock. Um, and usually you can drive over the top of the fence, but because I'm holding my phone trying to drive here, I stuff up, as you'll be able to see in a second. Um, and also there's a little bit of a tricky spot to cross because even though it doesn't look that steep in the video, this is kind of the side of a hill. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I just haven't hit it at the right angle. And as you can see, it's stuck on the step there, which isn't what you want. But anyway, um, pretty easy to fix, to be honest. Not tangled up or anything. I just got to sort of move it out from the fence. I mean, sorry, the step there and walk back around. The cows are trying to eat the hay before I've unwrapped it. It's cheeky buggers. And under here, it was a bit different. I haven't really, it doesn't usually get hooked up like this, but it's got hooked up sort of, I don't know, some, a bolt under there or something. Oh, and you see me jump a bit there. Um, I've got wet boots, so I got shocked by the fence. Um, yeah, anyway, we should be all good now to drive over. And as you can see, that's how it's meant to go. Um, yeah, anyway. All right, so this is how we unwrap the bales. Um, now, this is the easiest way to do it, I find. So I think some people just cut, cut the wrap off the bale, or you can put it on the ground and sort of unwrap it, but this is the sort of easiest way to do it. Um, and this way you get a tight little like ball like this, um, which is easy to store in, let's see in a second, in the step of the tractor here. So. Yeah, if you're feeding out a heap of hay, that's a really good way of doing it. And you don't have to have it in the cab to um, store it like, and get the cab full of hay and everything. So that's good. Uh, this is how we uh, feed the hay out. So um, the forks on the, the front rotate and that allows you to spin the bale. pretty dusty bale. This isn't our hay, this is hay we bought. Um, we used up all that hay earlier in the year, so yeah. It's not the best quality hay, but it does a job. Um, for dry cows, we don't really need the best quality hay because they're not milking, so they're not using that much energy. Um, and yeah, you're basically just feeding them to keep them going and keep their bellies full. So now I've got to get the bale off the back. Um, so I'm, back now. I'm being a little bit slow because, yeah, I'm on the side of the hill here, so you can't really see it in the video, but um, yeah, well, you can kind of see if the angle of the tractor's on and everything. It is reasonably steep. Probably one of the steeper paddocks we have. Most of the paddocks that are steep, we've tried to plant in trees because they're not really productive the grass doesn't grow that well as you can see on the side of this hill it's not really growing much grass either so it's better just to put under trees give something back to nature um oh yeah and the other thing was i was a bit sketched out i i, I wouldn't usually put the bale this way like so the rolly side can go down the hill you put the flat side facing down the hill so i was a bit worried it was going to roll down the hill but i only did it like this because i wanted it to be in view of the camera, um, but usually I put it the other way. And the other thing I do in a second is there's a button in the tractor you can press and I don't exactly understand what it does, but I think there's two hydraulic pumps and it turns both of them on where usually the loader only uses one hydraulic pump 
And I just wanted to kind of show you how it works for the video, but um, I gave it a bit too much oomphy. Oh yeah, I haven't unwrapped the bail yet. So I've got to unwrap the bail first, but yeah. I press this button and kind of blast the bail a bit, <laughs> which isn't ideal, but it is really good because some bales are tighter than others. Um, and by tightness, I mean how dense they are and how much grass they try and pack into them. So some are really loose and they fold a bit, it's really easy. Um, and then others, they do need that little bit more grunt to get them un unwrapped. And this is this is where the hay bale kind of disintegrates because I put that extra hydraulic pump on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, and that's not ideal because you can see, you might be like, oh, well, it's sort of done the job, it's spread it. But you don't want to pile up all your hay in the same spot because the cows end up walking over and making your paddock muddy and um, sort of walking all the hay into the ground and not eating as much as they could be. So yeah, spread it out the best you can. Um, otherwise you do end up wasting a lot, which is not what you want. And I haven't made it as far as I could have up the paddock with that bale, so yeah. But I do come back over and try and spread it out a bit. With traditional sort of forks that you grab the bales with, it's a lot easier to um, fix up any mistakes like this, but because this one spins, the forks are close together and it's really hard to pick up hay like this and shift it. And also I'm on the side of a hill, so I don't want to like usually hit it with a bit more pace and you can sort of push it out better, but because I'm on the side of the hill, I just took it a bit slower. Um, that was a pretty crappy attempt, that first attempt. Second attempt might be a bit better. Yeah, see, it's just, if you had normal forks, it'd be a bit easier to spread out, but anyway, it's just the way Alrighty, it is. Alrighty, so, I fed out me two bales over there, hold up, over there, on this side of the little portable fence thing that you can see running up here, um, and I've still got another half a bale to feed out, because the paddock, is, it's pretty steep, you can't really see it on camera, but nothing really much grows there, um, so yeah, I'm gonna wind up this fence, let them have what I fed out, and then I'm gonna go back and get another bale and feed out half of it. And um, yeah. Alrighty. So I wind up the fence here. Um, I, I don't wind up the whole thing at once. Um, it's a lot better just to let them sort of walk around. Because if you start trying to wind up the whole fence, um, a problem you run into is the fence goes slack up further and Cow looks at it goes, well, why would I want to walk all the way up this end where he's already rounded up and I can just walk over the top of it? And then they get it tangled around their legs and then it goes halfway across the paddock. So you're better off just um, just waiting like this. Um, and luckily the cows aren't too hungry today. Um, but sometimes there's a bloody stampede when you stand there, but it's all good. They're pretty good today. And because of that, I decided, all right, I'm going to walk up to the next post. Um, and wait there because they weren't too bad today. Um, all right, and um, this is um, the bale and a half have to feed out, so we're feeding two bales and a half out. So this is a bale and a half. Um, I'm just going to quickly feed it out. Um, it's, I'm not feeding out on the fresh grass down the bottom, I'm feeding it out a bit higher up the hill because it's drier. I noticed it's quite wet where I fed those other bales out, so I thought I'll feed these ones out a bit higher up. And also the cows are kind of in the way now. So I thought, well, I'll feed it up a bit higher, and, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so over here we have our, um, that, the half bale of it is left that we just fed out over there. So we're going to go put that in the shed over there. And then tomorrow we'll feed that out with the rest of the hay. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think that pretty much sums up the video. Um, if you want to see more, because you've enjoyed it, let me know what you want to see. So either the cows being milked or the calves being fed or anything to do with the farm that you're interested in. And, um, and we'll make it happen. Um, but yeah, until next time. 
，see you later。